Hello guys, Alan Moore here with another fragrance review for you today. Okay guys, today I've got an old friend who's been missing from my collection for a while and I've repurchased his tad to collections because I wanted something he's like for a work scent. Go to work every day and I work, well, five days a week. And it's like a dirty environment, sometimes it smells, they've got different smells coming off from stuff for years there. So it's nice to smell something nice when you go there. So I wanted to buy a few work fragrances this year and to see me through a working day. So I've had this fragrance in for uh, that purpose. And it's this one here. Clone de Louis Intense Man. The non-alcoholic version is high concentrated. Right, this is the third instalment of this particular fragrance. Of different variations that I've had in my collection since I started collecting. So, because it's the non alcoholic one, I was going to do a review to let you guys know what I get from this fragrance. Okay, this is going to be a fantastic work, so stay tuned if you want something for work. Okay, guys, see you after the break. Okay guys, welcome back. Now this one came again just Christmas, I had this off my door for Christmas and I wanted it for a while now. I did have the original, the old, the old EDT version years ago. I had the limited edition uh, with the old apart from version and that was nice. All three I've had and all three I've had like quite good success if you like. Uh, I've had good longevity from the first EDT and I've had some for the limited edition as well not so much projection boy, but you know longevity was all good for so then let's open this one up on the front there look you've got the name Club de Nuit Intense Man it's got the same symbol there but all it is got high concentrated non-alcoholic right and it's got some information on the back Clubbed the new intense man down the side. He's got the sterling silver logo there. And again, you know, this is the true information on the bottom of the box there, guys. So let's, the box is a bit rubbish, to be honest with you. I don't know, it's got, he landed a bit right rough in the pouch. Look at that. That's what the packaging looks like. But I have checked the box, the bottle is okay. So that could go out of there, so I will be using that. So then, that's what the bottle looks like, guys. And if you notice the little motif in the corner, that's where it says non-alcoholic, and it's got oil concentrated on it. It's got the same medallion thing there, look, and it's got the name of the fragrance there. It's got the studded lid, the same as the other bottle. And it's even got the same black atomizer as the last one I had. So let's give this a spray. Yeah, and straight away, you're going to get that lemon opening again, guys, that a lot of people have put off with. But I made a mistake with this, and I think a lot of people are doing it with this this one, or the normal EDT anyway. A lot of people find that lemon now is abrasive and, you know, like a lemon place cleaner. I don't get that. But what I did do wrong the other day, when I first sprayed it, I went straight in for a smell. I mean, now I've got too close to the actual fragrance, and it like we come across as very abrasive then. So I can understand why people are saying it's abrasive, but what I would advise you to do, spray it on and just keep a few, a few minutes before you go in for a smell, let it calm down a little bit before you go in, and then you'll get the magic of this fragrance. Now I'm not going to pay £300 for a bottle of Creed Aventus, when it only lasts sometimes six, seven hours. Right, where this will last more or less a similar longevity and get to smell something like Creed Aventus, not exactly, but something in that ballpark, and that will do me. You know, it smells nice. You know, when I go to work, I, I have people asking me what I'm wearing, and so I get compliments off it from work. Not as how I'm looking for compliments, but you can't help it. People ask where, what you're wearing, and you have to tell them what it is. So I've had success with this fragrance in the past. Now, because it's non alcoholic, I wasn't sure about the longevity. And as I say, I've been wearing this over the Christmas period as well. And if you're familiar with the first EDT, it's more or less spot on there, minus the alcoholic note in there. It's still got good longevity, you know, and it still gives you that 
smell of uh, the spoiled boy uh, clown of uh, Credimentus. It's not going to be an exact copy, guys. Just like I said on a few videos before, just remember when they come from the Middle East, this is this all another Middle Eastern clown of a famous fragrance. I've had a few, and if you compare the notes between the two fragrances on Fragrantica, you will see slight differences. And this is what the Middle Eastern companies are making this intent to do in the first place. They don't want to be a one to one clown. A lot of clown houses are trying to do that, you know. These want to do an inspired by. And this is what a lot of these Middle Eastern fragrances do. They're giving the inspired boy smells something like Creed Aventus, but it's not going to be exactly the same. And if people accept that for what it is, they'll know that it's not going to be an exact copy of Creed but it smells like it. And that's good enough for me. I love the smell of this fragrance. My wife likes it, you know. I've got lots of fragrance I've spent a lot of money on, and she prefers something this way cost £30. Not because the price, but because the smell. Okay, so when you have people telling you like that, sometimes you have to listen to the people you you know you close circle with, and to pay attention sometimes because some fragrance you might pay a lot of I've bought uh, Mansara, um, Instant Crush. Now I like that fragrance, but boys don't like it. You see, it's too strong. Hello, all right, babe. Hello. So this is the uh, the fragrance, you know, I got bought by my daughter. And this is what I've been wearing over the Christmas period. Let me give you some of the notes on this, guys. Uh, 2020 came out. And the top you got bergamot, lemon, pineapple and blackcurrant, which is most familiar by now. In the mid, you got bears, jasmine and rose. In the base, you got vanilla, ambergris and patchouli. So if you're asking from me, guys, give it a thumbs up for this. Double thumbs up, right? What it is, it's a £30 fragrance smelling like Creed Aventus and it's going to be my work scent. So for that reason, I'll be a thumbs up from me. So if you like this uh, review of this fragrance, uh, share and subscribe to this channel please and like this, the video. And I'll see you on the next one. All the best guys. Bye now.